Okay, switch topics with me for a second. I'm going to read something, so give me a second, right? L.A. County Sheriff's Department will no longer detain people accused of battery, vandalism, theft, narcotic, narcotics use, and other nonviolent offenses. Plus, anyone arrested for these crimes will automatically be released without paying bail and before arraignment. They said non-violence offenses, but then they said battery. They included battery. Like, you ever see Escape from L.A.? Hell yeah. Like Kurt Russell? You ever yeah. see that? Yes. That's getting ready to be. <laughs> it's going to be chaos in L.A. Yo, let, let, let me explain something to you. Tina knows, Beyonce knows mother, just got her home broke into. They took a million dollars, literally a million dollars in cash and jewelry from out yeah, that woman's yeah. house, ransacked the house. It was once upon a time where street crime happened in the streets. In LA, them boys realized like the money is where all the celebs is. And every time you turn on the news, it's another celebrity getting hit with a home invasion. Another one. So to your point about escape from LA, that's the way it really feels like it's gonna be out there. Like, like of, they, they, they don't not even holding you for a rim. What they don't understand is that a lot of those people that they're you know letting out, they don't because even though they have petty crimes, they don't have nowhere to go. They don't have any money, they don't have a job. So what the fuck you think they're gonna do? I mean, I don't understand that move, but at the end of the day, letting people out of jail, I'm all for it. You know, fuck jail. You know what I'm saying? That shit is fucked up. So, but I don't know, man. It's, it's, I'm still waiting for our fucking reparations. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Where the fuck are our reparations at, bro? Yeah, okay. So, so, so let's talk about that. I don't, I don't know if you saw, but, um, Black Wall Street, Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, they, they, they went and burned down Black Wall Street in the early 1900s, I believe. And it's three living survivors. They put in a case um, to get reparations. And this past week, it was just thrown out. Can you believe that? I mean, reparations needs to be given because of slavery. You know, Black Wall Street is one thing. And I feel for them people. That was an isolated moment. It wasn't Wall Street like what white Wall Street is. You know, it was a, a, a strip where black businesses flourished. So that's yes. necessarily not black Wall Street. It, it, it was 125th Street in Harlem yeah. back in the day. But yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that was unfortunate. But, you know, the more I, I dive into the slavery thing, the more I research, we really built this shit, bro. We made it so these families are fucking filthy fucking rich. They need to give some of that fucking money back. It's just simple. It's fucking, like, it's not right. The Indians got theirs. We need to get ours. Are they fucking crazy? The reason why a lot of these families are fucking rich and these white families have great homes and land and property and businesses is because of slavery. Like, what the fuck? Like, come on, like. We need our fucking we need our, repar our, our reparations. There's no question. They owe it to us. They have to give it to us. If they don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So we need our reparations, though. They I mean, owe it to us. What's, what's your thoughts? You think we'll ever get it? I think we will. You know, we're moving the ball slowly but surely. You know, the ball's getting moved. I think we will. It's going to be interesting to see how, you know, I mean, PPP was a little baby reparations. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so I, 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 think, I, think, I think eventually something will, will have to happen. You know, there are some white people who do get it, who do understand. And once they're in power, then we'll be all right. You know, we, it just has to be the right person in power. Listen, the governor of California, he, he's... At least he's he's making baby steps, and I gotta give him Gavin, whatever his name is. Gavin I gotta Newsom. give him Gav, yeah. You know, we gotta give him his props because he seems to be taking the lead when it comes to this reparations thing. He's the governor of the most of probably 
as far as economy, the fucking fifth economy in the world you know, as a state. So, yeah. uh, so his word means something. And you know, you know, let's, let's, you know, it's it's, it's going to be interesting to see. But we need our reparations. It's it's it, it's it's just not fair. It's just not fucking fair. Period. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna tell you, um, we do need them. We deserve them. This this, this country was built on our backs, um, for sure. But I don't know that we gonna let that. Like I'm gonna live to see that day. I I, I we I might think, not. We might not. We might not. We might not. But but I, I pray that that day come. Yeah, I think down the line, I think our our, our greats, they might see it. You know, God willing. You know, God willing. You know, God exists. So. As long as we have faith in God, then we have faith that that's going to happen. Because it's, nope. it's the right it's the right thing to do. We're not talking about hey, you know, you should do this. No, it's the right thing to do for humanity. You know what they did to us was horrible, and you know what I'm saying like if if if, if we're going to even this fucking playing field out, they need to give out reparations to our people. Without a doubt. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.